Hello, I'm Rainer. Welcome back to another episode of Rainer's Guitar Digest. Okay, today I'm going to share with you on a technique called palm mute strumming. Okay, palm mute strumming. What is palm mute strumming? Okay, palm mute strumming is a technique used in guitar playing to provide a staccato feel to the song. Okay, what's staccato feel? Staccato feel is like every note is sharply detached from the others. Okay, so as opposed to, let's say I play, I pick a normal note. Let's say I pick the fifth string, open string A here. I pick, I let it... I pick it normally and it will if you if you listen you will the note will slowly decay and dies off la till the sustain finish la okay so this is like how I normally pick uh, a, a, a note la so if I want to play a staccato feel to this note it will sound like this instead okay I play it again staccato feel as opposed to normal feel this is how I normally pick it if I pick it with staccato feel it goes like this so you will notice that uh, in staccato feel, right, the note is more short lived more muffled, and it sounds very dry. Okay, so and and uh, this uh, staccato feel and in palm mute strumming, right, it is also usually concentrated more on the bass strings of the guitar to provide a heavier and upbeat feel to the song, a bassier feel also. So the strumming patterns for playing palm mute varies uh, and usually are for patterns with majority downstrokes mostly uh, on the downstrokes because upstrokes are usually hit uh, upstrokes usually hit much more of the treble strings rather than the bass strings uh. so as I said we we do adopt downstrokes usually concentrate more on the bass here so usually palm mute uh, strumming is not used for the full duration of the song also but they are rather used at the starting parts la, or quieter parts that slowly builds up to a fuller strumming patterns okay okay so let's first look at the a simple palm mute strumming pattern okay so if you look at the pattern in this video okay the pattern here you uh, notice that I indicate that you have to add palm mute with a bracket there but the pattern itself let's say it's without the palm mute it's basically eight downs here then each uh, each down here just occupy occupy uh, half a sub beat of the full, full beat uh, of the full main beats here la. so it actually goes like this la. if let's say I don't add palm mute it will be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and or down 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 okay so this is the basic strumming pattern without the palm mute so if I add palm mute here it goes like this Okay, so it goes 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and Okay, so notice that the downs are uh, at the uh, first sub beat of every main beat uh, They are heavier that, than the downs at the end sub beats To make this pattern groovier and bassier So as for how the palm mute effect is achieved here Is that when you strum down with your fingers uh, Okay when you strum down with your fingers, you have to use the palm, your palm area here, the fleshy part of your palm, right, to touch the string at the same time when you strike the, the string with your finger. So when you strum, your, your palm must also touch the string at the same time and you have to let go also at the, at the correct um, timing. Lah. So you, you notice that when I strum, I, when I do the downstroke, Every downstroke right that you do right, your palm touches the bass string also at the same time and let go. So in a way right, your palm is actually trying to interrupt, trying to interrupt the vibration of the, the, the string that you strike. So not so much as it, it will kill it totally instantly. It will just sort of like um, touch it a bit and let it interrupt it. So it, is, it will reduce the vibration uh, uh, and start task causing the staccato feel la. so you cause the string to vibrate uh, lesser uh, short uh, in a shorter duration here so um, so the then also the area where your palm here okay the area where your palm touches the string there's actually a sweet spot okay so usually when we strum we strum at the sound hole here okay but when we need to do palm you right we need to shift our strumming a bit to the uh, to our right side so that when your palm strikes right it strikes the area here that's quite that's close closer to the saddle and the bridge lah okay so there's actually a sweet spot that you can find that you can do palm mute okay okay so notice that my fingers are not at centralized at the sound hole usually I strum I will strum here but when I do palm mute here it won't sound as as nice because the 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 it's not the sweet spot lah okay so 
Nah, it sound it doesn't sound nice at all. So you have to shift a bit to do the palm mute. Your palm, the area in contact should be quite near to the uh, saddle and bridge area here, but not not on the saddle and bridge. Uh, just near near to it. So you need to shift a bit. Okay. Okay. So if you're doing correctly, right, the palm shouldn't kill the sustain completely. Neither should it let it uh, ring fully. The lifespan of every chord notes ringing should be reduced to around 50%. Okay, so okay, example of an English uh, song using this uh, palm mute strumming pattern will be The Reason by Hubert Stang. So it goes I'm not a perfect person. There's many things I wish I didn't. I continue learning I never meant to do those things to you And so I have to say before I go Okay, so that's for the reason by Hubert Stang using palm mute strumming, okay? So another example will be a Chinese song using this pattern If you have heard of this song by uh, Mayday Wu Yue Tian, it's called Sing Kong Okay, so palm mute can be applied to um, various strumming patterns to make the feel quieter but groovier also. So another pattern will be a variation of a shuffle pattern with literally four down strokes. La. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay, one, one example of a popular song using this, uh, this pattern here will be actually uh, Lucky by Jason Mraz and Kobe Kellett. Okay, so this, actually there, there's a few parts of this song. The first part of the song is actually uh, groovier where, they play, where Jason Mraz play a lot of the bass. He's actually using palm mute here. So if you notice, he's actually doing this. Do you hear me talking to you Across the water, across the deep blue ocean Under the open sky, oh my Baby, I'm trying. Okay, so that's actually palm mute that Jason Mraz is using. It's just all downstrokes, and he's actually same thing doing the palm mute at the sweet spot over this, this side here. Okay, so um, all these are the uh, a few examples of palm mute uh, songs using palm mute strumming. So all right, that's all for this video. So hope you learned something new, and remember to subscribe, like, follow, or comment below if you have any questions or doubts. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.